we're doing several protocols, right? So we, we don't intend to just do one trial and then leave. We want a partnership that lasts for years. So that's our intent. So I've been assisting with coordinating the vaccine process and making sure the staff here feel comfortable with the protocol. We bring the vaccine here in the cooler so it stays at the correct temperature. He's going to take out one at random so no one knows which vaccine or placebo is in which syringe. We have a labeling system which allows us to track the vaccines, but we still don't know who is getting what. So that we have a vaccine. Over here we're doing the paperwork to make sure that we're able to track um, uh, in the study, not in the study, and um, he's going to scan all of the different labels so that we can upload it to the data center. So first we review the informed consent, make sure everything's good paperwork-wise, and that all the previous stations have been completed. It has to be on the front page. Yes. Let the people see and know that one of the lead investigators from the Liberian side that helped to bring this study in the country took the vaccine. A little um, There are two types of vaccines that we're using, as well as testing against a saltwater solution. One of the vaccines is the VSV vaccine, and it's the CHAD-3 is the abbreviation for it. Each contain a small bit of Ebola virus, a very, very small bit. Basically what it's doing is it's triggering your system to develop an immunity against that, as vaccines do, so that the next time you're exposed, this will help prevent a, an episode of Ebola. Why such a big band-aid? Part of it helps us to identify who's received the vaccine because we have a lot of patients coming in and out, a lot of participants. Um, we're also going to put a sticker which shows how long it's been for a half an hour to pass from the time that he got the vaccine. Because we'll monitor everyone to make sure there are no ill effects. We don't anticipate any, but we want to make sure that everyone's as safe as possible. And how so we'll take him to an observation area where a nurse will observe him. We'll give him something to drink. Um, if he needs some hydration. Um, if everything looks good, which everything has so far, then he'll be able to, um, to head out after the half hour. We'll also schedule a follow-up appointment and make sure that we have all of their information so that we can follow them and continue to make sure that everything's going well. Um, my name is Dr. Stephen B. Kennedy. Um, I'm one of the co-principal investigators for the Liberia U.S. Um, partnership to prevent Ebola um, in Liberia. I have been actively involved um, from the onset of this project since of last year. Um, there's been a long effort to get to where we are today.